co-authoring comes to the Skype for Business online meeting experience. So we've uh, seen a lot being talked about with co-authoring for uh, Office 2016. We can open up a document with Word 2016 and as long as the document shared between all parties we can see uh, where they're typing at that time in real time. So we see that same experience now within a Skype for Business online meeting. And so what I'm going to do to simulate this is I've got two willing participants. We've got Daryl at BitTitan, and we've got Daryl um, sitting in his um, Office 365 tenant and his personal tenant as well. And we're going to show you just a few things. We are going to show you a few things, um, particularly around what's required to make sure this works. The document that we are going to co-author has to be stored within Skype uh, OneDrive for Business. Um, and Secondly, it has to be shared with all parties in the meeting so that they all have access to work on the document um, concurrently. Uh, the document's going to be shared and launched from Office Web Apps or Office Online. So you'll see Word Online launch and the document will be um, worked on from that experience in the Skype for Business meeting. So we'll go through these steps now. We've got a meeting currently and you, you know that we've got video turned on and that will be used to show you another feature of this experience. We go to our uh, meeting present button and we're going to the co-author office document. Now this choice is going to open up OneDrive for Business and allow me to choose a document to add to the meeting. Remember the document has to be shared with all parties in the meeting already. So we'll go through and I'll find the uh, leave application that we're both working on because uh, Daryl would like to have some, some leave at Christmas at this time. And as we launch this, it's going to be shared with both parties and you'll see shortly the experience, the document will open up in Word Online and on my other screen, which you can't see at the moment, the same experience is being had by a Daryl at BitTitan that the document has been opened up in Word Online. You can see the tab at the top there that it's a Skype for Business co-authoring session. So it's loading the, the document and I'm going to make a couple of changes. While it's uh, doing that, you see that the, the video is uh, being offered or, or it can be floated around the screen as we need to work on it. Um, so I can just shift that out of the way or even close it if I need to. I'm just going to make this a bit easier for us to see as we fill out the form together, Daryl and I. So we'll um, begin to co-author this. And as I'm typing that, we'll wander over to Daryl at BitTitan and he's going to fill out his surname because he can. And we do hope that Daryl will be able to take leave at least from the 4th of December. So that co-authoring experience, it is what we've seen within Word uh, 2016 that we can see the flag moving around wherever we type in at real time. You can see that that's happening now within the Skype for Business meeting too. Um, now I must say that I've uh, co-authored documents with people over a Skype for Business meeting and it is quite a useful experience when you're working from different locations. And this um, just further helps the experience as we co-author and we can um, link that into the Skype for Business experience, sharing that document with all participants. So very useful. Now what do we do at the end of this meeting? When we no longer want to co-author and have that as part of the meeting experience, um, that we can end the co-authoring session. Now you will notice that as I do that, the document is still open in the background, and it is actually still open on um, Daryl at BitTitans um, experience as well. So it's just that it's no longer shared with the meeting and we're no longer um, discussing it and talking about it in the meeting itself. You could open the document in the uh, Word experience as well. So if you've got Word uh, 2016, then you can open that and, and get that full experience of um, Word within the, um, the full set of tools that we do have with Word. So yeah, very quick review there of the feature, um, and I think that it will become useful. It, it might be just one of those features where um, you just begin to get used to it and use it within your, your meetings. Um, but yeah, have fun.